Hello everyone and welcome back to the MSSU Summer Show. I'm your host Scott Humphreys and today with me I have Dr. Hackett, the head of psychology department. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. So tell us, you know, what is psychology? Like I, I know the, I took psychology in high school, it was just kind of basic like studying of one's mind, but I assume there's mm -hmm. a more in-depth answer to like <laughs> what it is. Psychology defined would be the scientific study of behavior and mental processes. Um, this includes animals as well as humans. Um, this is a pretty broad definition, so you're right, it includes a lot of different areas. Psychology is quite broad, all of it addressing mental processes and behaviors um, from different types of di perspectives. Yeah. All right, uh, so what got you interested in psychology? Um, so I think what drew me to psychology is the same as what draws all of our majors to psychology. They have an interest in um, being able to explain why people do what they do or why animals do what they do. Um, so that's where it starts. And um, wanting to find yourself in a position where you can help other people. Um, what really... Um, directed my passion in psychology was when I took a social psychology class because that's that's my area. Um, social psychology focuses on um, the social nature of humans, so how we think about other people, how people think about us, how we influence one another, how we relate to one another, so what makes us like people, what makes us dislike people. Um, so it was after I took that class that I really got interested and found kind of my, my fit in psychology. Uh, so, uh, I mean, that's what made you teach it? So, that's a good question. I, um, I knew I liked social psychology. Once I took that class, I knew that this was like I could live, live this field of psychology. Um, and, and then I learned, well, what do social psychologists do? Um, and uh, the majority of social psychologists are those that go on to get their PhD and then find themselves in academia doing research and teaching. And the idea of teaching and doing research sounded pretty good to me. So yeah, that's how I got here. I say, I, I mean, there was, I mean, similar answer with pretty much, uh, same with like, uh, we interviewed Dr. Powell from Dental Hygiene, it was the same mm -hmm. thing, she's like, I liked it. But I also like teaching, mm -hmm. so I combine them together. So I mean, uh, so if you walk us through the course, what are some of the major classes people take when when majoring in psychology? Are there do they do like research labs mm -hmm. or walk us through what happens? Yeah. So the curriculum for a psychology degree has embedded in it are major areas of psychology. So students would take like a social psychology class, a personality class, um, they would take abnormal psychology, a conditioning and learning, um, cognitive. So there's these content courses within psychology that students, all students would take. Um, then there are content courses that are um, part of psychology but more as electives. Um, so students can take human sexuality or psych and film. So there's a variety of other content courses they could take. Um, within the curriculum, however, um, we emphasize research like you mentioned. Um, so we have a sequence of research courses that our students take starting um, statistics and then ends with a capstone research um, course. And this is where students from beginning to end conduct a research project, their own independent research project. Um, it's in this course that they get to cater their um, interests around a research project. Um, so if they have an interest in working with children, for example, they can do a research project that is maybe observing children or surveying parents and interactions with children. Or if they're interested in mental disorders, um, they can design a study around that. Um, they conduct their project and then at the end of the semester, they end with a manuscript, a written research manuscript, and they also present to the department. So it's kind of their, their baby at the mm -hmm. end of um, their time with us, yeah. You mentioned psychology in film. Mm -hmm. Just, that sounds like a, just a very interesting class. Describe what that is. Yeah, so 
Um, it can vary each semester depending on who's teaching it, um, but what it does, it what it does is um, shows videos and uh, movies, um, a variety of different movies throughout the semester, and it's a ad it's identifying psychological concepts within in TV in film. Um, so it's a film class, but you're also applying um, psychology to it. Brilliant. I'd say it's really because you're you're almost like picking it apart. You're, mm -hmm. you're looking deeper into it, and do you, do you like look at like just the psychological being of like the person you're focusing on, or is it more like you look at the movie and like, well, based on what we know, what gave the motive to do what they did or just all of it? All of that, all of that. Yeah, because all of that is psychology. So it could just be identifying, so maybe um, identifying a character that might have a specific diagnosis that could be part of it, but it could also be um, identifying behaviors in individuals in the movie and predicting what's pr what is driving their behavior because that's psychology too, right? Predicting and understanding behavior. So it's all that, yeah. It seems, it seems really cool. Um, uh, now, do the students get to choose the movie or is it just up to the teacher? Um, so it's going to be up to the teacher. Um, the teacher will probably have a list of films that they plan on showing in, in the section. Um, there might be times where um, there's a, you know, the class has some t type of feedback on what movies are shown in the course, but yeah, I think it can vary. So that would, uh, just seems, it seemed really interesting, uh, especially, I mean, I, I'm a big Star Wars and Lord of the Rings nerd, so okay, there I, you go. I would choose like Lord <laughs> of the Rings, be like, I want to watch Lord of the Rings and just pick it up. But, um, so what are all the career paths you can go into with a psychology degree? I know there's like so many other things, there's like such a large mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so generally when people think of psychology, they think of um, mental disorders, mm -hmm. um, um, and, and psychology is that, and a lot of our majors plan on going into that as a career. So um, therapy and counseling tends to be a big area for people who are interested in psychology. Um, what, what I think is often overlooked for psychology is that because we're so broad and we're, we're um, focusing on any mental process and any behavior, it doesn't have to be limited to, to mental um, challenges or issues. Um, so there's a lot of other career areas that our students go into that you might not think of. So human resources can be an area. We have students that go on for um, physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, law. Individuals can go into law school, become attorneys. Um, they become professors. Um, prob probation and parole is an area that students, so there's just a variety of different areas that, that connect with understanding behavior that people don't necessarily always think of when they think psychology. So a lot of neuroscience is an area because um, it's res heavy research based, we, that's what psychology is. Um, applied behavior analysis, which we just recently opened our clinic there on campus, so that's another area. So there's just a lot of areas that people can go into and help help, um, and not necessarily make it be related to abnormal psychology or pathology, yeah. So, I mean, that that's actually a really interesting, interesting list because you, you mentioned a lot of things you like. What Now, lawyers kind of make sense because mm -hmm. especially for at least this is me from watching Bull a lot, okay. how they pick out their juries. Okay, it's sure. like uh, Dr. Bull is, he, he is, or he graduated with a psychology degree and he looks at how people react and that's how they choose a jury. And so I guess mm -hmm. maybe that's how that, some of that comes in if they, they, it helps them choose the jury or build a case better than someone else that does it because they can break it down a little bit more. Sure. Um, but some some of this is like human resources, you know? right? I, I I wouldn't think uh, so. That I mean, that's extremely interesting. You know, you said that like almost like therapists. Is, that's what mo is that what's popular all the time, or is there something else that's becoming more popular? 
that people start becoming or? Um, I think that becoming um, a therapist, a counselor is always going to be an area of interest for individuals to pursue. Um, I, I would say, well, roughly around half, maybe even more than half of our majors want to find themselves in a helping profession. So maybe not a therapist or a counselor, but maybe a caseworker. Um, so those are always, I think, going to be very popular. Um, but I will say some emerging areas of interest, um, I mentioned neuroscience is one that's really gaining popularity. Um, another one, I think, um, because of the demand would be um, applied behavior analysis. Again, you're, you're, it's still the helping profession. It's just not, a, not the traditional idea of being a therapist or a counselor. I think those are probably the biggies right now. Neuroscience and ABA tend to um, be pretty popular, but our mental health is always going to be one of the forefront um, professions that individuals want to go into. So you mentioned you just opened up a clinic. We is did. The, so it's almost like a, is it student led or is it so um, we have um, Dr. Ayla Schmick is the director of the clinic. Um, she also is a professor in our department. She teaches the applied behavior analysis courses. And what it's, it's open to the community, so individuals in the community can receive services there, um, but it is also a resource for our students. So our students can take ABA courses with Ayla and go from the classroom to the clinic and apply what they're learning in the classroom. Um, so yeah, we will. We have students, it's meant to cater to the community and students that are being trained in applied behavior analysis. Yeah. So real quick, do, can students come in? So you said students can come in, uh, which is good because in and the computer because it, it's, it's a semiotic relationship. It mm -hmm. helps both of you. Is there a charge for students to come in or? So, well, so it depends. I mean, if, if a student is wanting services, that's one. So there's two components to it. It's getting services at the clinic and then it's providing services at the clinic. Um, so students that are providing services at the clinic, they're either getting course credit for it um, or, or as the clinic builds, we'll be able to hire them on, once they get the credentials, the training to be able mm -hmm. to provide services, they can be hired on to work at the clinic. Um, I think currently we have one student worker that has, has the credentials and is working there. Um, to receive services, um, there is a fee. There are fees associated to receiving services. Um, people within the Lion family do get a discount. Um, that's, that's of course what we're going to do. It's part of the, the Lion community. So yeah, faculty, um, staff, and students that have, that are part of the um, university do get a discount in services. Various. So uh, once again, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today. Yes. If any of you at home would like to know more about psychology, you can simply Google the department page. Uh, that's just MSSU Psychology. And the first thing that should pop up is the department page. Uh, thank you all for being here again with me today, and I'll see you next time.